This little guy is a cone snail. It has a host of deadly adaptations, including a venomous harpoon, that it uses to catch prey. The cone snail species is one of the most venomous animals on the planet. Cone snails are a group of marine snails found in tropical oceans and seas around the world, though some live in more temperate habitats, like the waters around Southern California, the Mediterranean Sea, and around the Southern Cape of South Africa. The cone snail's highly specialized teeth, known as raduli, work like a combination hypodermic needle and harpoon to skewer and poison its prey. The snail's toxins target the nervous system, paralyzing its victim and allowing the snail to get over to its meal at its own speed. The cone snail is constantly regrowing its raduli, meaning it's rarely without its deadly harpoon teeth. For species of cone snail that hunt fish it is important to have a very fast-acting and powerful venom, because otherwise fish can easily escape from such a slow-moving predator. Some cone snails take refuge on rocks and coral reefs, while others hunt by burying themselves in sand, waiting for unsuspecting prey. Their ornate, geometric shells are also an attractive souvenir, which poses a risk for unsuspecting divers and beachcombers, and the larger species of cone snail have gradually large enough to pierce a wetsuit. Historically, 65% of people stung by the geography cone snail die if they don't get to a hospital in time. We don't currently have any medicines that can neutralize the snail's conotoxin venom. The only treatment is to treat the symptoms and try to keep the victim alive until the venom wears off. Even though the snail is slow and has only killed a few dozen people, there are a few reasons why it's considered the most venomous animal in the world. The dose of venom in a strike is key. Some, like the king cobra, deliver a large amount of venom with its large, channeled fangs. Others, like the tiny deathstalker scorpion, only need to administer a little venom to kill. It only takes one-tenth as much cone snail venom to do the same damage. Another important qualification for danger is the animal's attitude. Some very venomous snakes, like the inland taipan of northern Australia, are less dangerous because they are calm and reclusive. On the other hand, its relative, the coastal taipan, has weaker venom, but comes into contact with more people more often so is a much greater danger. The cone snail's predatory nature and willingness to strike its constantly regrowing harpoon teeth bolsters its danger. Luckily for you though, humans aren't very tasty or digestible to cone snails. The only reason humans come in contact with them is if someone steps on a cone snail, startles them when diving, or picks up a shell with a creature still in it. Also fortunately for us, deaths are rare. I hope you have enjoyed this video. If you have, please subscribe to this YouTube channel, and don't forget to give this video the thumbs up. And I'm sure you're going to enjoy this next video on our beavers dangerous to humans, pets and property. Thanks for watching and bye for now.